up, my dudes? It's Demi, and today we are at Universal Hard Rock Hotel because we are doing Sunday brunch at the Kitchen Restaurant. This is the best brunch at Universal that you have never heard about. There's an acoustic guitar player, there's unlimited mimosas and Bloody Marys, and special food. So I'm gonna stop talking and just show it to you because it is an incredible experience. And so now let's just get into it. Let's do Sunday brunch at the kitchen and let's go get into some hygiene. The kitchen is located at Universal's Hard Rock Hotel. It's a five minute walk from Universal Studios or a five minute boat ride from City Walk. Do not get it confused with the Hard Rock Cafe restaurant on Universal City Walk. That is a restaurant. We are going to the Hard Rock Hotel. I did a full detailed resort and room tour of the Hard Rock Hotel, and I will link that video for you here and put it in the description box below. The kitchen is located on the first floor of the Hard Rock Hotel, right by the pool, so it's also a great option if you are staying here and doing a pool day. Monday through Saturday, this restaurant is open for a regular breakfast buffet, but on Sundays from 10.30 to 2 p.m., it is the special acoustic brunch. During acoustic brunch on Sundays, you can experience unlimited coffee, juice, Bloody Mary and mimosas, extra special buffet stations, and live acoustic music. And the best part is you get all of that for $49 as an adult, ages 10 to 20, $35, ages three to nine, $19, and three and under are free. To be able to get unlimited cocktails for $49 is an incredible price for not just the theme park, but in general when you go to brunch. And this is the only place that I know that does unlimited cocktails at a theme park in the Orlando area. If you know another one, let me know in the comments, but so far I haven't found any. In true hard rock fashion, there is music memorabilia all over this restaurant, like Aerosmith's guitar, Bruce Springsteen's vest, Lita Ford's guitar, Nicki Minaj's dress, and a signed guitar by Fergie. After you sit down, your server will come over and take your drink order. This is where you can get that unlimited mimosa and Bloody Mary. They all come the same. You can ask for Tabasco sauce if you do want your Bloody Mary a little bit hotter. I also ordered a coffee. It was really tasty. Plus, they do have almond milk here and they have non-fat milk. In 2024, we like to have our milk options and unfortunately, there are still so many places that don't carry anything other than creamer and sometimes regular milk. So this place gets bonus points for almond milk and non-fat milk. Okay, let's check out the buffet. There are a few stations that are exclusive to Sunday brunch here at the kitchen, but there are some that are also available during regular breakfast hours, Monday through Saturday, like the cereal station, the pastry station with different pastries, cakes, donuts, muffins, and croissants, the fruit station, watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple, and honeydew, plus chocolate milk and regular milk. In the back, you will find the omelet station. And yes, this is actually also available during breakfast Monday through Saturday. You can do eggs any style. You can create your own omelet with bacon, ham, sausage, mushrooms, tomato, spinach, peppers, onions, cheddar, American or Swiss cheese. Egg beaters and egg whites are available upon request as well. Plus up on this counter is where you will also find bagels and bread to make toast. Now let's take a look at the hot food. We have scrambled eggs, corned beef hash. It's definitely out of a can. Breakfast sausage, very crispy bacon, breakfast potatoes, grits in a cast iron pot, oatmeal in a cast iron pot, and raisins, brown sugar, and regular sugar for the oatmeal. Hot, very sticky buns, pancakes, baguette French toast, and biscuits, hot gravy on the side for the biscuits, and maple syrup for the pancakes and French toast. What's only available for the Sunday brunch is the fruit compote, fresh strawberries, and house-made whipped cream, and behind the counter, they can zhuzh up your French toast and pancakes as well. Now, the rest of the buffet is going to be exclusive to Sunday brunch. So starting off over here by this station, we have seared 60 South, Atlantic salmon, roasted chicken, and green beans with almonds. Then behind here, we have a whole nother bar section with exclusive food items. We have a smoked salmon, AKA lox plate with capers, red onion, egg yolk, or egg white. Then we have the domestic and imported cheese and charcuterie. And from what I was able to try, I found some Gouda, some like blue cheese. I don't even know what was on here. They don't label it, but they were all so incredibly good. I ate so much cheese. And the crackers were actually so good with it. Then we have some crudite, carrot, celery, cauliflower, tomatoes. Then we have some dips. We have hummus, Thousand Island dressing, ranch, balsamic. And then finally, we have some pasta salad and regular tossed salad. And then finally, the best part about this buffet, the carving station. They have a grilled bistro steak. Not really sure what cut that is, but let me tell you, as a steak lover, this was delicious. It was juicy, it was flavorful, it was cooked 
perfectly. It wasn't too raw. It wasn't too overcooked. I had like three pieces of it. It was absolutely delicious. It has a side of demi-glaze sauce, like my name, or horseradish cream. And then finally, we have the dessert. And I'm not clear if this is a part of the regular breakfast. I couldn't get a straight answer, but they had a bunch of little different pastries and little patisseries. And I tried a few of them and they were all very, very good. But I was so full from eating so much cheese and steak that I really didn't get to try that many. But what was here was very, very good. To tie it all together, we had this incredible musician playing so many different genres. They had such a soulful voice. It wasn't loud at all. It was perfect. It was a vibe. They really just made the experience so incredible. And I, I will put their Instagram in the description box below because they are an incredible artist and you should all follow them. Overall, I had such an incredible time here at the kitchen. The food was fantastic. That steak was incredible. All the cheeses were so, so yummy. But even the basics, like the bacon was crispy. The sausage was good. I didn't get to try the omelet station, but it did look really good. The pancakes were fluffy and all the toppings were so yummy. And the drinks were so good and the coffee was good and they had almond milk. Honestly, I really cannot wait to come back to the kitchen again for acoustic brunch because it is such a good time. I wanna take everybody here and show them that it is just the best experience that you can do at Universal on a Sunday morning. Well, my dudes, that was Sunday brunch here at the kitchen at Universal's Hard Rock Hotel. I had an incredible time. This will be a place that I will definitely be returning to again and again and again. I really just, I, I know it's, it's off, like, high for brunch, but I really think like when I do boozy brunches where it's unlimited drinks and stuff, I always feel like it's a lot more or the same. And you're at a theme park, you know, theme park prices are always higher and you got steak in there. There's just a lot of stuff you're getting and all the food was so good. The drinks were good, the staff is so friendly. Uh, it, it was just like such a great experience and I really hope you take the time out on your Sunday at Universal and come and have brunch here at the kitchen. So let me know, what did you think of the kitchen? Have you dined here before for brunch? What was your experience like? Do you think you would visit on your next Universal trip? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out the Patreon, become a patron, get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, help with your planning and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get to some hijinks very, very soon. Bye-bye.